Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We're going to jump straight back in for the war because we are currently invading Wessex. We've avenged my father. Wait, where's Ivar going? Oh, he's, got, he's gone round west. Okay, and all my allies. <laughs> we avenged uh, my father's death by killing Ayla. But, but now it's time to, to invade Britannia and take all of the wealth that the Christians hold. And we're going to take it for ourselves. My wife, Queen Brewer, known for her interest in venery, brings rumors of beasts spotted in my realm. Interesting. Uh, I, I'm currently westwards at the moment, wife. I can't really hunt for those right now. The servants have all been sent away and our bed has been decorated with roses. And just like that, my wife has become my lover. So we could always try and seduce my, my other concubine as well. I just realized she's pregnant too. We are having so many children. That's the good thing about having concubines. You guys are going to be able to get in plenty of name suggestions in this series, uh, which is nice. We got another military perk. We could get courtship, make our way down to Gallant. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get strategist. Let's get Bellum Justum. 50% cheaper or, or cost reduction for our uh, Cassus Bellies vet. Get your words out. <laughs> I recorded this right after the last episode, by the way. I don't know why I, I was suddenly stumbling. Um... But it's a thing. My wife has become pregnant. Very nice. Also, I can train for a tournament. We should probably do that. My spy master has come to me with grave news. It is Gosfrid, the steward of Count Herve of Maine, while is plotting against my son, Arik. Of course, it would be the Christians plotting with a dagger. They're too cowardice to face us with sword or axe. Let us train for a tournament. And then you turn to the right, Yolhofer yells while dealing a powerful blow to my sword that makes me take a couple of steps back. They won't go gentle on you in my tourney, my lord, he says, drying the sweat from his forehead. If you want to win, you cannot afford to lose, not even to me. Not even one. I have become well trained for 10 years. We don't gain any prowess or anything, though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Wait, do I not have a wet nurse? Oh, I don't. I should probably get one of those. Let, let's appoint one of those then. For, for sure. And I guess we also need an antiquarian now. Everyone's bloody pretty poor at it though. So actually I won't appoint uh, one of you. A court tutor. Improves education outcomes. We should get a court tutor as well. Like we need to be filling all of these positions. Ideally. Royal architect. Cheaper building. We don't really need that. Oh, control growth would be useful at the moment, though. Because we do have actually some, some control issues, don't we? Is there anything else I want? Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. I think for now, that's fine. Court chronicler. We'll use that once we start spreading a legend. Which I don't think we can start yet, can we? Uh, why not? Because I need to be... Well, I'm just missing the gold, right? We can get started on that. Once this war's over. Ten months left on the siege. But these guys are going to bloody go and uh, siege this now. Spurred on by positive relations and increased cultural exchange. The Irish and Norse peoples have grown increasingly close over the years. Now individuals from these societies have begun to view themselves not as one or the other. But as both simultaneously. A new Norse Gale culture. Oh, that's that's interesting. So where's this? Norse Gale has popped up over here. So we got the Gaelic. We got the Cumbrians, we got the Irish, of course. We got some Norse, which would be us. The Anglo-Saxons uh, are by far the, the biggest. We got some Welsh and we got some Cornish. Maybe we could hybridize with the Anglo-Saxons later on. But that is something we're, we're, we'll see later. It's not one of my big plans. Uh, if we get the opportunity, I'll do it. But uh, I won't really aim for it. My main focus is just getting rid of the Christians. Well, 11 months to siege that. That's looking better. Uh, and I have had a son. Where's the name list? There it is. Martin, you have gone for the name Fro. You've also added a little funny letter there. So let's copy and paste that one. I don't have that on my keyboard. There we go. <laughs> May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Let's go ahead and pin you. And you've also decided to go for any education focus. So let's wait for the pop-up and we'll see how the lad is naturally developing. Right. Back to the siege. Five months left on this one. I have a feeling we're going to have a few more children soon as well. Because I think all of my concubines were pregnant. You would make for an accomplished commander. I already have a good command as well. I mean, I'm myself in commanded. Four months left on this. Let's do a little trickery. Now it's suddenly 40 days left on this. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, if only we had that in real life. But I don't think I would want to speed up time in real life. If anything, uh, maybe pause time would be good. Uh, would be very nice. Right, we're running a little bit slow on supplies here. But we're going to have to put a stop to this siege. 
And then I think we need to just sit there and, and resupply before we continue onwards. With my leave, my daughter Conan and a witness parade in my chamber. Orphra poses like a herald and proclaims, My liege, you witness a monumental occasion. Conan has a mighty gift to offer you. Go ahead, Conan, tell him. Father, I lost a tooth. I will give you 10 gold. The tooth fairy will, will, will visit you. Oh, I've had a blood... Okay, we, we got pop-ups for days. Let's get rid of this because it's quite loud. Uh, how should I approach Sigriel? She seems like a reserved individual who prefers silence as a companion. I think be as gallant and as charming as possible. Uh, and I have had another son who is in fact comely. Right, pull up the list again. Uh, Kai, you have gone with the name suggestion Darket. Thank you very much for that one. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. And you've also gone for the martial education focus as well. So let's go ahead and get this one organized. Oh, wow, you're so good. 30 martial. Absolutely insane. Did I pin you, lad? I didn't. There we go. See, it's a good job I checked this stuff uh, because oftentimes I do forget. Right. We are fighting the the third or fourth battle for Middle Seax right now. We do have the advantage. So I think it would be no problem. I managed to get a moment alone with Sigriel. I buy my time, balance and flattery and conversation. Then as the right mood settles, I reach out and clasp Sigriel's hands in mine. I lay bare my feelings and declare my undying love for her. We are progressing with our charms, our muscle, and our skills in seduction. We have won 260 for 1400. And we killed a few of their champions as well, which is very nice. Right, I need to resupply. There's enough supply over in Surrey. So I'm going to sit myself here. Hopefully no one else stacks on top of me. Because I really need to get this up. There we go. It is increasing and they're sieging. You paid 15 gold to me. University student donated gold. Very nice. Oh, I love that Upland is a university. We're going to get so much gold from that for this whole series. It's wonderful. Wait, what? Why is supply going down? Oh, I'm over the supply limit. Okay. Um, I can fix this. I can fix this. Let's just put the, the second army down here. No, don't stand on top of me, you bloody idiot. Piss off. Go get your own supply. Okay. I think we're gaining still per month. A carpet. From a Christian. I'm getting rid of that. I do not trust them. I definitely do not trust them. Right, we have 83 supply. I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and recombine the armies. There we go. Of course, I'm going to command them. And now we're going to go and siege the, the Barony of Portsmouth. And we're getting closer to the capital of Wessex. What's this? Offer a concubine. Driffer. I mean, she's 43. Do you know what? Though? I'll accept. The more concubines, the better. Why not? I can designate a guardian for my, my daughter. She's gone for diplomacy. Is that what we picked? Possibly. That's what it's automatically gone to, though. So I'll tell you what. Let's find her a good diplomatic educator. 17 diplomacy. Very nice. And we'll get that organized. I can challenge you to a trial by combat. Let's not do that yet, though. Because we're already in the middle of a war. Five months for the siege is very nice. My son has gained one more marshal as well. We're getting some very skilled children. I can challenge criminals to trial by combat as well. That's interesting. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting to kill me. We must stop the villain behind this. Look at the cowards that surround us. Fighting with the dagger instead of the axe. Cowards. All of them. This is why we must spread word of the gods. The true gods to everyone. My grandson Ragnar seems to have been having a difficult time at our latest feast. He sneaked out early and was not seen for the entire rest of the evening. He's become a little bit impatient. Okay. That's fine. Uh, we have won the war against the Christians. I could demand a hostage. I could demand a hostage. And raise him as a Viking. That could be a good way of getting our... That could be a good way of how we infiltrate their political system. Is that his eldest son? No, it's not. But we could always deal with him maybe a little bit later. I think I will demand the hostage. Let us confirm that. Oh, bloody hell. Why can't you... Why can't... The base game UI sometimes is so infuriating. I wanted to right-click and pin the lad. There we go. Right, and then after... Why is it closing the menu? It's fine. We'll forget about that. Let's enforce the demands. <laughs> it's so frustrating sometimes, the UI. To the brash king Bjorn. May wisdom ever elude you. 
You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Okay. King Alfred. The time of the Christians. Is nearing its final phase. We now have Winchester. Where has he moved to? He's moved down to Kent in Dover. <laughs> Maybe we should have took uh, London first. But we could always sail down through the channel on the coast here, right, to, to get here. So that's fine. Okay. We can disband the armies. Let us go ahead and do that. I also now have my... Prisoner? Wait, he's, he's not here yet, right? I think he's traveling. Yeah, he's traveling. He's going to sail all the way eastwards to Upland, our, our holy site. Uh, and then we're going to hopefully raise him as a Viking and show him the way of the true gods. That would be a good way of getting under them. Now, who do I want to leave this to? I think Winchester can only be entrusted to one person. And that is Bjorn, my grandson. In fact, Bjorn, I'm going to give you Winchester. Wait, cannot be given a title. He does not stand to inherit. Ah, oh, we have this. Ah, oh, I forgot about succession. Okay, who said to inherit it? Probably a kid. Winchester. Uh, that's a. Uh, a little bit frustrating. Yeah, as a newborn baby. Well, I'm not going to give it to him, am I? That's bloody stupid. Right. Partition. We're just going to have to deal with this. In fact, because I can't give it to a child right now, I guess we're going to have to give it to someone of the Norse culture. And hopefully, I'm going to give him these other titles. He can hold the stronghold. Because although I, I want all of Britain, I do want to keep my main lands over here. Although maybe I should have taken Winchester. I'll tell you what. The one I'm going to keep here, I want London for myself, okay? We've sieged it once. We've seen how great of a fortification it is. There's a river right there as well. So uh, this is the this is the land in Britannia that I'm going to keep for myself. Maybe we even move here in the future. I, I don't know. We'll have to dis uh, deal with that when the time comes. Right. Good news, though. We have expanded into Britannia. So we want to do, we could even declare war on the likes of Cornwall who neighbor us. That is possible. Also, we have enough gold for the legend. But celebrations have come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Sugo suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives wondering what the guests would like to hear. Let's be entertained. There we go. That was very great. And I can start a legend. I think the sons of Lothbrook. King of Danes and slayer of a mighty worm, Ragnar was a terror to Christians and a legendary adventurer. His great deeds in life are too many to name, and with his blood flowing through me, it is only right that I claim his legacy and build a legendary tale all of my own. 240 gold costs us 1.56 to a month to promote, but we get more men at arms damage, popular opinion, we gain martial, we gain prestige. And we gain more prestige and we gain diplomacy. I'm going to do it. Let us create it. I'm going to be... Oh, I can dedicate it to my father. Hmm. But I claim his legacy and build a legendary tale all of my own. I could base it on me. I think we're going to base it on Ragnar, though, right? It makes, the, it makes the most sense. I gain 100 additional legitimacy from your legend protagonist. Because it just makes sense. If we max this all the way out, well, I mean, we're going to try. Okay, let us create the legend. We will get a court chronicler as well afterwards. Ragnar was born from the pool of Ragnar's own fresh and blood. With the natural power of his great lineage, was there ever any doubt that he would achieve great things? Oh, it's called the Sons of Lothbrok, though, so maybe I should dedicate it to me. It's fine. There was no doubt in his mind. Ragnar was to unify all of the Empire of Britannia under his rule in the name of Ragnar. The bickering of lesser lords and ladies was about to reach its end and all were caught, come to call Ragnar their leash. Yeah, I should have picked Ragnar. <laughs> I misinterpreted it. Uh, Ragnar's legend culminates in a marvelous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wonder thereof and many nobles and commoners came to his encounter but they wished to see the legend in the flesh. The beautiful countryside of the Empire of Britannia had fallen to brigands and bandits since the Ragnar's time. But Ragnar soon set to work right, uh, righting wrongs and protecting the people he is to rightfully rule. The journey was fraught with danger, but with him 
With all that Regna had done for the Empire of Britannia and her people, could there be any doubt that he was chosen by the gods to rule? From the city to the humblest homestead, all cried the name Ragna in ecstatic exultation. So we can't improve the quality yet because we need to spread it to 100 baronies. So let us close this. And I'm going to get a court chronicler. That gives us prestige and it gives us court grandeur. And I think they help us spread our legend, right? Let's see. Uh, actually perform the search for legends. I don't need to search for legends. My court chronicler will actually perform the extol domestic legend perk. Legend spread chance plus 40%. Oh, that's very good. Perform the commend legend abroad task. Every year, one of your vassals or neighboring rulers may make your legend a promoted legend. Higher levels of aptitude will increase the chance of this occurring. But this is just plus 40% spread chance. Wait, so what's better? This or this? Every year, one of your vassals or neighboring rulers will make may make your legend a promoted legend. Uh. Should we just go for this? Legend spread chance? I think so, right? That's what we want. And if we take a look at the at the moment, I mean, it's starting up here. I would like to spread it over here, though. So actually, maybe I should pick this one. Because if my vassal can start spreading it in Britannia, that would be huge. So we're going to go commend legend abroad first. Get all of my vassals promoting it. And that should be used for us. We're only getting free gold per month now, though. I mean, we could go raiding, though. We're Vikings. So tell me, my lord. Uh, what about the time that King Bjorn of Sweden began the annexation of the chieftain of Meadowpet held by Ragnar's stake? That surely is worth adding to his legend. Ooh. That was such a great occasion. Everyone remembers your great deed. Gained a chapter. And I gained 75 prestige. What does gained a chapter mean? Legend promoter has joined, which is very nice. I gained a chapter. Uh, here? Has it increased? Oh. Oh, it has. Oh, okay. Okay. Can you if they wish to wait? Wait. What's new and what's different? The uh, mariners. Okay. Uh, yeah, we already read this. Ragnar, however, did not stop there, for he went on, and with great bravery, King Bjorn of Sweden began annexation of the chieftain of Medalpet held by Ragnar's stake. The journey was fraught with danger, but with all that Ragnar had done for the Empire of Britannia and her people, could there be any doubt that he was chosen by the gods to rule from the... Si okay, we already read this. Okay, but we got this extra little bit added in. I see. I see. Uh, it's currently in four baronies already. Oh, it's spreading quickly. I want it to spread in Britannia as well, though. I want this legend to, to spread everywhere. It's very important. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was astonished to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Barker during the Second Punic War. Known as the Enemy of Rome, Hannibal's crowning achievement was the Battle of Cannae, where his army of roughly 50,000 outmaneuvered and encircled the larger 86,000 strong Roman army. Surrounded and unable to retreat, only 3,000 Romans survived the massacre. I can become an aggressive attacker. Let's do that. We are very aggressive. Legend Promoter has joined. Very nice. Let's also open the inventory. Because we have the tooth, which we can destroy that for a little bit of gold. Right, we could go raiding, but I think we should press onwards. We have a truce with Wessex, but we don't have a truce with Cornwall. And so I want to take Cornwall. So I'm going to declare war. And we're going to conquer the duchy. Oh, they might be my vassals, though. It's fine, we're going to conquer the duchy. We're spending prestige now. I don't have a military banner down here. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll add one. Let's add one in Winchester. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, we'll raise the entire army. I will lead them, of course. And now it is time. We expand and take more from the Christians. Wait, are you Catholic or Orthodox? Uh, they're Catholic as well. Okay, just double checking. Right, the armies are raised. Uh, I do see them in the south. Let's go ahead and intercept them. I don't think they can stand against us. We are so strong. Oh, they formed a new alliance, though. But we literally just wiped out their, their armies. How did we do here? Yeah, we killed two of the champions and we captured a prisoner as well. I could... I think we should deal with this army as it lands. It's only 200, but if we deal with it now, at least it's done and we don't have to worry about this siege. The privy is a small space. Okay. We, we, she has become my lover uh, and we slept together in the privy. <laughs> I am formed my hostage. Edwin has at last arrived from Wessex. I am sure my people will make him feel right at home. The pact is in place. 
So if I organize a guardian for him now, I could have my wife teach him. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's go back. I could have my wife teach him and I could convert his culture and his faith. So he becomes Norse as a true and he becomes a Viking. That kind of reminds me like the last kingdom. That's what happened to... Wait, was it the last kingdom? Uhtred was uh, basically taken as a prisoner, right? And, and raised as a Viking, I think. I think that's what happened. I might be mixing up my, my series here. Did that happen to Uhtred? Do you know, I've completely forgotten now. It's been so long since I watched the first season of that. Right, let's send the proposal anyway, because that's my plan. I think it was the last kingdom where this happened. Uh, oh, where, where, where were your armies going? You, you, you bloody outmaneuvered me, but it doesn't matter. Right, we've wiped them out. We've got some prisoners, but we'll decide what to do with those after. And we killed another one of their champions as well. We got more armies arriving. <laughs> also, it's so amazing that Hastings has so much land in uh, Britannia already as well. It's bloody brilliant. The Vikings are absolutely dominating Britannia. Never would I have thought that a man could have too much passion. Yet it seems life has proved me wrong. Some days I feel as if my spare time is nothing but sating Sigriel's seemingly boundless lust. Getting recklessly intoxicated with Bethilda and fantasizing about the future with her. Uh, we stopped being lovers. I'm not going to let my wife go. I'm going to stop being lovers with you. It's too much. A man only has so much love to give. Only so much love to give. We caught another prisoner. I think. If we take Cornwall. Oh, my wife's pregnant. I, I would love to host a grand blot at some point. My nephew, Yol Ragnar, has created a cadet branch. Okay. We're, we're in charge of our part of the dis dynasty now, which is nice. So we can choose where we spend our legacies in future. We're losing gold and prestige. Why am I losing gold? Raised armies. Wait. But these cost prestige. Or have I been followed? Maybe I have been followed. Isn't this feudal as well? So you have to convert to feudalism. I mean, we can't do that because we need to convert... We need to reform the faith first. Which, let's finish this siege before I check that. I don't even know where the holy sites are. Uh, valuable prisoner has been captured. However, he's probably worth a lot of gold if I ransom him. 64. Let's ransom him first. Let's take a look at the, the faith map. We have this holy site. We have this one up here. Okay, and we have Jorvik. But do I have to personally control them to reform the faith? Reform. Your realm does not contain at least three as a true holy sites. I do. Okay, that's uh, something to plan for in the future. But right now we're, we're dealing with this war. Right, I think the war is still over after the, the ransom. So let's do that. I could demand a hostage as well. He wouldn't accept. Okay. Let's not uh, do a hostage event. We're just going to enforce the demands. There we go. We have expanded into Cornwall. Sweden has started invading Britannia. And we're making very good work. I can ransom you for 100 gold. Because you're worth so much, I will actually ransom you. Uh, I, I have decided to do that. I can isolate capital because there's a bloody plague. Bjorn's flu has started to spread down here. Uh, it's not up here, though, so we don't actually have to worry about that. So I'm going to get rid of those. We don't have to worry about this. I need a new vassal down here. So let's land some no more Norsemen. Uh, and if I grant you the title, there we go. You can have Devon and Cornwall. Very beautiful places, by the way. I'm thinking of going Cornwall in September to, to play in a chess tournament. I'm going to go away for like four days. I, I haven't decided yet, but I would love to. It'll be fun. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked again. Right, are the armies disbanded? They are. Something's happening in my court. What's this? Finus raiments of the land, Bjorn. Mostly because they ain't from this land. What? 50 gold. Who cares what people wear? I gain a little bit of prestige. Very nice. Uh, legend promoter has joined. My, my nephew. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Wait, so it should start spreading over here as well. It's already in 34 baronies and it has three promoters right now, which is very nice. What's this? Upgrade? Oh, I can upgrade it? Yeah, but not yet because it needs to be in 100 baronies, remember? Uh, yes. My dear brother, I'm calling you to honor our alliance to join me in the third Syria conquest of the Eldom of Briefin. I will accept. 
and I think I will actually send my 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 army there. I tell you what though, I'm just gonna do the the men at arms, okay? I will command them. I don't think we need more than that. We'll just help out in a few fights here and there. We have 234 gold. I wanted to spend this on something, but I forgot what it was. Only 1,000 men. Yeah, but they're very strong men. My marshal has been shown off on a promising new recruit. Uh, he's a little bit dull, but you know what? He can serve me. It's fine. And a notable guest has arrived. You have a claim on this. Oh, isn't the holy wall up, uh, site up there as well? Possibly. I pause and write and pause and write. The words of this missive must be chosen carefully. Any loose phrases for my message to my vassal boer will not be looked kindly upon, but the support of the sons of Lothbrook would be a boon indeed if I get it right. Now let's see. What exactly is something poor would approve of? So let's see. She is fickle, ambitious, and gregarious. She is a very driven person. Let us try this. She is pleased, and now she is promoting my legend. Also, I have had another daughter. Where is the names or the list of names? Kim, you have gone with uh, Brunhilde. Let me see if I can type that. There we go. Thank you very much for the name suggestion. And you've also gone for a martial focus as well. We're going to have so many strong fighting focus children. It's insane. Right, Sverka, you can educate her. Oh, did I forget to pin her? I did. Well, we have so many children. Did I pin you, Darket? I didn't. Fraw? No, I did. I did. I did. Right, right, right. Okay, let's do this. Everything's working out fine. Also, we're still alive at 59. Our health has been poor for so many years at this point. And we just don't care. Uh, it's crazy. Okay, the plague is here. How long left on this truce? Four years. So we're not going to be fighting Wessex again in the future. Ah, but I'm currently fighting these guys in Ireland. So let's go ahead and land ourselves here in Dublin or Dufflin. I guess it should be called. Oh, they do have a lot of minute arms there. We're, we're going to land up here, actually, and link up with Ivar instead and follow his lead. Hopefully, we, we can do that. I'm just going to connect to his army, and he's going to be in charge. New martial perk is available. I can't help but race, uh, pace restlessly as Bergboa readies provisions for her visit to the court of Vigu, my neighboring ruler. Bergboa is expressly tasked with spreading word of the sons of Lothbrook. Preferably being able to corner the high chieftain and persuade him to join the cause. Poison grace will be needed for this task and perhaps some other make weights. Just go there and don't mess it up. Yeah, we're going to do that. I don't want to spend anything right now. Uh, what, what, just, j just, just do your job, basically. Right, available perk. Organized march. Army movement speed sounds nice. Siege weapon effect. I I'm going to get organized march. Organized march sounds super nice. I like that a lot. A range of betrothal between her and my grandson. I'm going to decline. And I just died. <laughs> King Bjorn of Sweden has given up the ghost at 59 years of age. He drank himself to death. A keen and dedicated hunter, he loved to spend entire weeks in the wilderness looking for the most elusive game. King Bjorn ascends to the throne, a formidable duelist. Many expect him to excel in tournaments and personal combat. I like we as we will continue as my grandson, King Bjorn the Second. Dynasty head has changed. Oh, it's not me anymore. And I have a new. Oh, we're gonna have to sort this. Right, first let's take a look at Bjorn the Second. He actually has uh, okay diplomacy, but nothing else really. Right. Ugh. He is honest. Bjorn values truth and sincerity highly. He is zealous. Religious convictions burns bright at the center of Bjorn, and he is humble. Bjorn does not ask for much in life. He is a charismatic negotiator, a master of persuasive rhetoric and the nuances of diplomacy. Bjorn is an excellent dis diplomat. He's got a little bit of a lisp, though. Bjorn has trouble pronouncing certain sounds. That's relatable. Uh, but he is strong. Through training and perseverance, Bjorn has been granted a strong body because he is a Viking. And our wife is 35. Bit of an age gap there. Uh, he does have a son, at least. Let's go ahead and pick a... Let's go for diplomacy, I guess, because we're already here. And I think we're going to go in majesty focus for that extra prestige. Uh, that That's very nice indeed. As for concubines, I could take my father's concubines. <laughs> that, 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 that's possible. Let's take all the concubines because I do need more children. Uh, and one thing I'm going to try and do is seduce the wife. 
We do need more children. That much is for sure. Also, I need to get my council sorted. So let's go for a good marshal. 32 is insane. Do we have a good chance that we do? Jarl Svein. He's actually a powerful vassal as well, which is very nice. And then we have a spy master. Also, Solovi the Mad. Also a powerful vassal. Zero opinion of me. It's a little bit scary. Let's put the wife on managed domain. And I think we are set up. Uh, let's see. I can inherit a legend. How does that work? Is it this one? Open chronicle. Start owning. Ah, okay. And now, and now I just take control. Okay, that's good. That's good. So it's... Oh, legend promoter zero. It's spreading. What if I do a little bit? Pause, unpause. No. Okay, we're going to keep trying to make other people spread it, though. Isolate capital. We don't need to do this. Uh, and all of it's fine. I could designate a guardian for my son. He is a martial focus. So, Lotte, you're a little bit dull, but you can educate him. I can create the Duchy of Cornwall. How many lands do we have now? We only have Upland. Okay. We could build more castles here, but we need... Uh, we don't have the moats innovation. Wait, we're, we are the cultural head. I say we, we look at mo mo moats. We're being exposed to it, and it's going to take about 23 years. And then we could build more castles, because at least, at least this stuff we can revoke and maintain control of it. And Upland's actually got a nice size. We can build two more castles here. So we're going to do that. How's the legend looking, actually? It's spreading nicely. It still hasn't reached Britannia yet. But we can make it get there with time. Right. Who's my best commander? You are 32 advantage and you're a holy warrior. I was going to attach this army, but wasn't I? Yes. Let's attach the army and we'll leave Ivar uh, to deal with this. I have gained a new rival uh, because my father, my grandfather, sorry, was raiding here all the time. We could fight him. I can negotiate an alliance with my uncle. He's not uh, interested, Will. What about Knut? My brother. He would accept an alliance. Let's do that. And then what about Eric? My brother as well. He will also... Or my uncle, sorry. Oh, yeah, because I'm playing as my, my grandson. My uncles are younger than me, but they would accept uh, an alliance, which is very nice. I can usurp the Kingdom of Wessex. It's the petty kingdom, though. And I can create the Duchy of Cornwall. This would give us prestige. Let's do that. We need prestige. And it would give legitimacy. How is my legitimacy? It's actually it's actually looking fine right now. Uh, I can negotiate an alliance with my uncle as well. Let's do that. We need to stick together. The blood of Bjorn is going strong. Greetings, my modest leech. I am honored by your request. And I'll be glad to call you an ally. Marvelous news. Oh, you know what we, what we also have to do? We need to host a funeral for Bjorn. King Bjorn the First, my grandfather. Assemble the Weeping Realm for a funeral. A chance to give a proper send-off to a venerated member of the nobility. I must plan the funeral. In Upland. In Uppsala, I think, right? This is actually slightly better, though. Uh, we're going to hold it in, in Sigtuna. We're going to dedicate it to King Bjorn the First. I don't need a caravan master. It's right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, ceremonials. I can max this out. Death has come to a great person in the realm. Do they not deserve everything that we can provide? No expense shall be spared for the funeral ceremony. And all shall know the great tragedy will have struck the realm. I think that's true. We're going to max this out. Extravagant ceremonials. I've never done this before. This is a time for mourning the dead. A critical time for demonstrating piety. So we can mourn the dead? I think we should. I will mourn my grandfather. The unifier of Sweden. And the one who helped avenge the great Ragnar's death. We're going to have 28 guests. Let us start the funeral. I've wanted this for so long. And I'm glad this is in the game now. Sigtuna is to be Bjorn's final resting place. And I am left alone to gather my thoughts and prepare for the arrival of the honored mourners. I will never forget him. Oh, this is so cool. This is exactly the kind of flavor stuff uh, Crusader King needs. It's so cool. Right, are we... I think we're waiting for it to start. Oh, it's going to begin in eight months. Okay, we'll leave that then. You're an experienced fighter. Could I... Could I arrange a, a marriage possibly here? No, okay. 
Hmm, and I've run out of gold because I spent it all on the funeral. That's fine. How is this war going? Are we are we winning this either? Go fight them. Faction created against me. The Cornish Catholic populists uh, are now rising, which is unfortunate. Do you know what we could do though? Is is down here we can actually start converting the faith, which I think we're gonna do. 16 years. Okay. Maybe I leave that up to my vassals. I don't think we're gonna be very successful. There's right let us continue i think ivar's finally going in for battle he's had enough oh no he's just sieging it back okay <laughs> no are we fighting now yes ivar slaughter them all <laughs> uh, we haven't won the war yet if we take a look at this we killed a few of their champions though but sadly guys i'm gonna leave things there for today in the next episode we will attend the funeral of the great king Bjorn the first and now we play as my grandson. Second, or oh, technically third generation already. I think Bjorn done much. He, he united Sweden and he invaded Cornwall and uh, Winchester down here. So, you know, he started the invasion of, of Britain, which is very good. But guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching as always. I will see you next time. Oh.